The Eastern and Southern Caribbean region is said to be grappling with alarming rates of crime and violence, particularly among its young population. According to recent statistics, the majority of countries with the highest homicide rates worldwide per capita are located in Latin America and the Caribbean. In response to this critical issue, the United States Agency for International Development, USAID, has launched the Eastern and Southern Caribbean Youth Resilience, Inclusion and Empowerment, or WIRI, program, seeking to bridge the gap in order to provide access to employment for disadvantaged youth as a means of combating crime and violence at the community level. Youth advisor with the USAID WIRI project, Catherine Atkinson, says research shows that in every jurisdiction, there is a section of the community that is underserved, resulting in a huge number of risk factors that elevate social issues, requiring urgent attention. And so the programming that we're designing right now is really specifically looking at reducing those risk factors and creating a kind of support network around the youth so that they have the best possible chance of negotiating those risks, mitigating the impact of the risks and being, you know, and leveraging their own assets, their own abilities to be able to thrive in the world. According to the initiative's project coordinator Doreen Gustav, St. Lucia has adopted the approach to used by other participating countries to refer to the program locally as the Wiry Ignite project aimed mainly at sparking interest and desire as well as preparing young participants to enter the workforce through a comprehensive employment and business skills program. For the six weeks they will do the soft skills, thereafter they will have an opportunity to decide do I want to start a business, is that my strength? So we, also, we take them through that business skills to um, take them through that pathway where they'll have a, a boot camp for a six-day boot camp that will train them into small business, help them put a business plan together and everything that entails starting off a small business. The Ignite Learning Business by Doing Business activity is a flexible format, high engagement, experiential learning activity that will see the training of some 50 young people between the ages of 16 and 25 years from select communities in Ancillary and Grosely through a strategic partnership with the Ministry of Education's National Enrichment and Learning Unit. And we want to make sure that they are equipped, so they have that capacity to be individuals who are self-employed and if not so if not self-employed but as have that foundation to move forward in terms of gaining a further education in terms of a skill for example cake making and decorating electrical installation or plumbing that the Nelly offers by fostering collaboration and innovation wiry aims to create lasting change in the region and contribute to a safer and more prosperous future for its youth from the Communications Unit of the Department of Education, Innovation and Vocational Training, I am Chris Satney, reporting.